This is Richard Walker coming to you from the kitchen of the crack house. And I'm going to open up some brie and some cheese board crackers that were gifts and some smoked sockeye salmon. Does that grab you? Oh, and I'm gonna have a little drink of wine. We've got brie cheese. We've got some smoked sockeye salmon and we have cheese board crackers to go with both. But first we're going to um, we're gonna have a little vino. This is particularly good. This is uh, Behringer, the main vine Cabernet Sauvignon. And you can see I've already had some of it. And This is just to clear the palate, right? And I don't know if you can see this. This is a, a neat little pump to pump the air out. And and that helps preserve what's left. And we'll take a swip. A swip is a, is a swipe and a sip. So here is the way the brie cheese comes in a very large container. And it is just simply wrapped. And so we are going to cut it. Let's see. Gotta get the cutting edge of the knife. And do it this way. Nice big slice. But this is lunch, by the way. It's a quarter to twelve, uh, and it's long, long past lunchtime in France or Normandy. So I'm gonna put that out here. And with the little inner part. So, what we can uh, do here is place that on a cracker, wrap our cheese back up, put the bottom on it, and put the top on it. And since we have the crackers already, so what we have here are Christmas gifts from the Hamptons, um, Wade and Melissa. These are our cheese board crackers. And as I pointed out, we have cut a wedge of, how uh, well you can see that, our brie, little bite here. Mm -hmm. Set that aside. We have some Behringer Cabernet Sauvignon. We're going to make lunch out of this. And now we're doing the box opening for the sockeye salmon. Judy's on a diet, thankfully. And I get to eat whatever I want because I'm on a seafood diet and she doesn't like seafood. Well, she doesn't like shellfish, in particular I do. So we're gonna actually see what we're gonna see here. doesn't look uh, difficult. It's it's about a half inch thick. So I'm going to look to see if they've just sealed it. It says it has a um, let me see if you can read that. I don't know if it's readable. This product is fully cooked and vacuum sealed. Do not uh, use contents if an open pouch is 
leaking or has been damaged. Refrigerate after open. Okay, so now let's see. I should get some scissors for this. And I'm going to start in this area right here and unseal. I don't hear any vacuum seal, uh, but I do see some liquid, um, the salmon liquid, in it. oh, and it's got juice all over the place. It's GoPro, stop recording. Fortunately, Umbra has come to our rescue and has licked up all of the salmon juices that were spilled on the floor. Wasn't that nice of Umbra? I'm definitely going to have to clean the glass table again and wash my trousers. So the question here is, do I need a plate? And I guess the answer is yes. Okay, I've I've fetched a plate and I'm going to slide this salmon over and then continue to mop up. Very unfortunate. And I'm gonna put that in there. Put this ooh. Gonna clean up even more. Because <clears throat> it brought a lot of juice out. Now this is probably one of the really good things about doing an unboxing. Because uh, you uh, run into all kinds of surprises. So what we're going to do is open this up, reach in and get a piece of salmon and I'm going to cut it like so um, mm, that's pretty good so I'm gonna take the part that's still leaking and I'm going to set it aside what a mess so buyers beware and thank you everybody for the uh, patience now I'm going to bring this up so you can watch me eat um, okay so what we have here is a number of um, of these lovely biscuits as the English call them and uh, this looks like a Ritz cracker. Mm -hmm. That one's broken. Sure, like water mill, water, water mill ground. I don't know. I don't know how it's ground, but I do know that the. Uh, we were not allowed to bring camembert back into this country because it was made with raw milk. It was not pasteurized. And as a consequence, I have not been able to get raw milk, unpasteurized, uh, hmm. um, my wife always seems to send me some sort of a text message when I'm recording. Go away, wife. Oh. <clears throat> there. Anyway, I, we fell in love with camembert cheese from Normandy, France. And uh, we were able to buy some camembert at a farmer's market in Orlando, but it was pasteurized and came from Canada. So we find that brie is similar uh, is locally available at Sam's. I used to be able to buy um, uh, camembert, mm. 
but at that time I didn't know the difference. So, mm -hmm. Yield the France. Now, uh, this is on sort of a knockoff. This is Brie, but I didn't see it until it was in the back here. So, this one was six dollars at um, at uh, Publix, which is a southern chain. You can't get it around so you can see it. And this was made in France, and I believe I bought this at Sam's. And if I can read, this was 440, 445, and I believe the weight was 27, two, uh, 8 ounces, and this one was 7, I think. So they get you coming and going on the, um, yeah, seven ounces uh, for six dollars, and eight ounces for four forty-five. Love this stuff, even though it's pasteurized. <clears throat> okay, now for the taste test. I've already given it a preliminary taste test. And I talked to a friend of mine who lived in Europe, and uh, she um, had had bratwurst uh, in Germany, but never lox and bagels. So lox is salt-cured uh, salmon uh, with uh, uh, have it on a bagel. She'd only had cream cheese on a bagel because she's from New York. But um, lox still stay pink. This salmon is smoked and this is sockeye salmon so I don't know where I don't know if the uh, English, German, uh, French salmon comes from their own countries or from Scotland. Mm. The flavor is very mild the texture is dry, but not too dry. As you can tell, there was plenty of liquid in with it to keep it soaked up. Um, it has a familiar taste, but I think that's the smoky flavor. Um, that wine is so good. It's dry, fruity, um, it's not very viscous, it, uh, uh, you can't see the color, and neither, I can't, I can't shine a light through it, but I can see the light reflected on the table. Let me see if I can show you. Mm, right here, kind of hard. Mm, not very good. But, well, I don't know, not my self so, <clears throat> now, what happens when we take a bit of this lovely cheese? It's not greasy like butter, but it's very soft, and had we let it um, warm up to room temperature, or let it sit out, it would have a much stronger uh, flavor. Uh, one of our B&B &B hostesses called it the stinky cheese, and uh, we like it. So here's 
uh, salmon with uh, the skin on it. And the, the skin is edible. The skin. Almost as good as chicken skin. Um, I'm making this video for my um, um, stepson and stepdaughter, Melissa and Wade, because they know we like to eat exotic foods. Mm. I should say foreign foods, not exotic foods. A little bit of wine makes the salmon go down. And uh, I know what it was. The smoky flavor tastes a little bit like sardines. And that's very, very interesting. Um, that's the nice smoky flavor. Um, I'm not quite so sure it has a lot of salmon flavor. Now the salmon that we eat, we buy at Sam's Club, is farm raised, so it's not wild. So I don't have anything realistically to compare it to. This is Chef Boyard Dick coughing his way off screen. Uh, wishing you bon appetit and happy cooking. GoPro turn off. Well, that was the wrong command. GoPro, stop recording.